We, we've been offering instruction, um, sailing instruction, it's about 10 years now, on club boats that were lottery funded, Sport England funded. And the fruits of that now are to be seen in the yard as we speak. I've got a 12 year old who's coming on really well. I've got a 15 year old and a 16 year old that are developing over the past couple of years and we've got them in their early 20s. We've got family groups. So it's building in the right direction. See, when I first came here, the only people who had the skill couldn't. You know, I'd say to them, well, what do you do there? And they'd say, well, I don't know, I'll just do it. Because they'd learned to sail from the age of four. Mm. Whereas we're in a position now, that particularly with someone who's got the skill and can impart it. And I've had the formal training as an instructor, and well, now I'm a senior instructor now, and I'm bringing on our own instructors. Uh, and then top, top of all that, so we've got a powerboat instructor who's come back to the club after being away. And that's a big step forward. My name's Bob Martin. Um, I'm up here with um, the Cork Canoe Club for the yearly uh, paddle. Uh, we, came, we come up once a year and uh, we usually have a good time. Uh, it's a really good weekend. Um, everybody enjoys the surf. There's different grades of water so people can get on and do what they wish, um, whatever suits them, in respect of whether they want to do walking, boating, kayaking, or anything in between. Even the fishermen are quite pro us, you know. I say even the fishermen, but often professional sailors, they work the sea as a living, look on yachties and that sort of down the nose of it. But no, the, the local fishermen have been huge big help to us. Uh, we get on well with the, the lifeboat people. Mm -hmm. We've done training courses with them, the use of radios. We have helped them on their open day and things like that. Yeah, we, we, we interact with the, the community. Not yet quite the same passion as somewhere like in Lou in Cornwall, where when there's a national event, there's a big thing in the Guild Hall, the town embraces the big influx of visitors. Um, but that can come. That can come because obviously the people in town know that 100 boats coming for a big regatta is bringing a lot of income. To organise a regatta for 15 boats, could just might just as well be doing one for 50. Every time I go to one of these events, be it in on the south coast or Wales or up here in Scotland, every time I say to myself, but we have a better venue. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful launching position. We've got plenty of space for to park cars, pitch tents, and we've got nightclubs in bed because some people like that sort of thing. So all the things that people want, in a national championship, perfect sailing on the sea out in the bay there, and everything else. And time and time again, I've been to a place and I think, we can't park a car, launching's a nightmare, accommodation strip. Yeah, we've got here um, everything that you could possibly want. And even more, because of our location and the Cheviot Mountain up there, we actually get more sea breezes than is average for the UK. And a sea breeze is what a sailor dreams of. sailing course, a 14 year old laddie said to his father, why didn't you tell me about the sailing thing earlier? And he took it so well. Mm. Uh, but the other ones which are interesting are the ones that have to really work hard at the skill. It doesn't come to them very, very easily. And when you see them battling their way, particularly if the parents are there to help them overcome uh, the difficulties, 
it's really, really good. And then they start pl plaguing you in the race course, you, you have to work hard to beat them. Mm -hmm. That's to me what it's all about.